Welcome back to Sunrise. So, Zainab, yes. um, Royal Hibiscus Hotel, then... God Calling. No. Was Sylvia. Sylvia. Sylvia, Sylvia was deep. Yeah. Was very spiritual, for those that understand the spiritual side of things. Right. And also very scary. Mm -hmm. That was the, <laughs> more or less like the first real horror movie, so to speak, in Nigeria. Well, yeah, it was a psychological thriller. Um, and I used the word horror because horror. that's what this <laughs> man out there would <laughs> call, call it, right? Leave me out of horror. Um, yeah, so I'll it was horror. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was very different to um, like what uh, you've just seen now, which was the God Calling um, trailer, and it was mm. a you know, which is a, a spiritual faith based movie, and Sylvia was um, you know a story that did speak on spiritual realm, so um, the the darker side of things. So it was. It was very different for me, but I, I like taking challenging roles. But how does all of this play out with you and your faith? Um, I don't go into any production without, you know, consulting God, and because you're you're taking on characters, you're building people, and there's no way that that doesn't become a part of you with the things that you think, with the way that you research, and the way that you act. Um, so I would definitely say that I'm very guided um, spiritually when I take on these certain roles because I have to tell the truth and I have to make it believable for the people who are watching it. Uh, so, yeah, I've, um, I've been very fortunate with the kind of roles that I've been able to take. What's your biggest oh. challenge? Um, my biggest challenge would be, you mean on the God Calling project no. or just in general? Um, Since you came into this film. I think biggest challenge is trying to change the narrative a bit. Like we were talking about earlier, Nollywood and how, you know, how much it's changed. When you think about the movies we were watching like 20 years ago and now, like we can take what we have now and we can export it. And ultimately we want people to see what we have and, um, and understand that we are, we're here to play on the big stage. Uh, so for me, it's, convincing people, convincing the audiences that you can watch a movie that's comedy-based, that's romance, that's horror, that's faith, that, and it still be good, and it still be commercially viable. Mm. Well, kudos to Nigeria, because I think that we're making waves all over the world. Oh, we are. Uh, we still complain about our movie industry, but uh, we should all just accept that we are getting better. We had yeah. Lancelot Imaswa in here mm. a few months ago, who told us that things are improving. And since he came, I began to watch African Magic. Nice. And I am now addicted to African Magic <laughs> because every day I watch one, I see that it has gone one notch higher, yeah. competing internationally. Yeah. So well we, done. Thank you. We've got to get you to the cinema too. Yes. Yes. There are <laughs> two movies that I've been to told about, which I must watch. I must watch God, God Calling, Calling, for yes. instance. 21st of December. Yes. I put that in my diary. I'm <laughs> among the first people to arrive there. Excellent. So what are your plans for 2019, which is just around the corner? Oh, gosh. It really is around the corner. You're the... going to vote, of course, in yes. February. Yes. Um, and uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if I fully put my plans in place. Um, yeah, the 2018, I feel like just rushed just out. Okay. Yeah. So um, I, I think I'm still, I, I still need to take some time and figure out What's, what's happening? And it's been a very busy end of year with all the movies um, and uh, especially with, with God Calling and just how, uh, you know, emotionally and physically tasking it was. Um, and it's such a huge responsibility when you're telling a story about faith, about God, about spirituality and uh, people who suffer from different issues. Um, so, you know, you just... You have to take a minute to just breathe um, and hope for the best. And with this movie, I really do hope that people come out and watch it um, in December 21st. So this is you breathing. But this is me in breathing, all of yeah. this, you just got married. Yeah. Yes, I did. How's your husband taking you and the acting that you do? And considering the fact that you take on different roles. Yeah. And some of those roles, some, of, some, some men will be like, that's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I think they. I think all husbands do that. Not all husbands all. are actresses. Oh, Not gosh. all. Some no, have oh come God, to she's, terms she's with it. kissing so him. How's he handling that? Well, the thing is, um, you know, he he met me when I was an actress, so um, oh, okay. I was, you know, already doing uh, doing what I do. And for me, 
everything that I do has to be able to matter for the story. And I'm fortunate enough to have a very supportive um, husband um, who is just, as I'm reading my scripts, he's there, he's there chiming in, he's there with ideas. So um, it's, a, it's a strong partnership. And I think you need that when, when, whenever you go into anything. So yeah. Mm. Kudos, husband. <laughs> Kudos. <laughs> Le well, Thank you, Zainab. We, you, you, you have your place. So if you had a word, for the, not the up and coming actors. Um, if you had a word for the industry, yeah. I mean, there are those who will say, you're, you're still young. Yeah, yeah. You're just starting would. out. And there are those who've been there. There are those you look up to, you call your mothers. And <laughs> there are those you call your mentors, you yep. go to them to ask questions. But if you were asked to dare to advise industry players, what would you say? I would say that we should promote. Um, the spirit of excellence a lot more. Um, I think at times we get very complacent with what we do, um, and it's it's easy to be like that when you have audiences who just maybe don't ask for more. Mm. They're they're complacent and happy with where they are. Mm. But if we want to push the envelope, we've got to try more, and we've got to try different things. And the spirit of excellence in in every aspect of production, from the person at the end to the person at the top. Thank you so much. Thank you. Zainab Balogun, Nigerian actress, model, and television presenter. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. And that rounds up our package for this Saturday, the 1st in December. We'll mm. bring you another one next week. And we're counting down to Christmas and to New Year. Yeah, you don't want to miss our Christmas package. It's something, it's, it's not going to be like what we used to be, right? Well, I haven't been here in five Christmases, so... Oh, so this will be your but first. But I'm here this Christmas. <laughs> okay, you'll see how that goes. Thank you for watching. And thank you for all the comments, the tweets, and the mails. Thank you. Someone was watching from the United Kingdom and says, we should tell more Nigerian stories, good Nigerian stories. Yes, we will. And thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>